Hey guys, in this video, you are going to learn in your UAPA Studio how do you click on publish and publish the entire workflow as a dot NuGet package locally and then upload it to orchestrator. In this video, we are going to see everything in detail. So let's get started. So here I have created the entire workflow. Now this workflow I would like to, I do not like to publish it directly to orchestrator, rather I would like to download locally onto my computer and then upload it to orchestrator. So what is the process and what is the benefit? Let's see that. So first of all, I'm going to hit on publish. So my workflow is done. I'm going to hit on publish. I'm going to type the package name or you know, if you want to give an, any other name, you can do all those things. Hit on next. Now this is where the main learning comes. Here generally you would find orchestrator tenant process feed. Okay, we hit on next, next and publish it. So here my requirement is I need to download it locally. Maybe I have to transfer this file to somebody else who is not part of my orchestrator tenant. I, I want to give it to somebody else, some other customer let's say. Right. So in that case from my studio, how do I really do it? I have to first publish it it locally onto the computer and that entire file I need to pass it to somebody else. Okay. So let's see how to do that. So for this you will be selecting custom. Okay. For this you will be selecting custom. Click on this browse button and you need to create a folder. Let's say I will create some folder and I will say UI path download package locally something like you know you can give some name and i'm going to select this particular folder and give it a path pretty simple custom and provide a path where it should get download and here there will be two different options okay include sources and remove unused dependencies so let's say in your entire workflow couple of packages let's say mail activities you are not using in your project so it is there by default you would like to remove it so this will be quite useful remove unused dependencies and I'm going to hit on next. If you have a certificate, sometimes you know uh, some uh, local certificates are required. If you have a certificate, you this is not mandatory. This is not mandatory. So you can leave it and publish it. Okay. You can go back and simply hit on publish. So what would happen? This entire uh, workflow, right, which were there in XAML, um, all your XAML files, uh, main.xaml and other XAML files that you have and everything will be packaged together and that one file will be downloaded to your computer. Okay, so it's compiling all the activities uh, and uh, within within few seconds it will download. So what are the benefits of this? So look, look at this, publish successfully and the location is this one, the location which I had given and the entire workflow from your UAPA studio now have been binded together and kept it in one single file. This dot NUPKG or NuGet package what you call. The dot NuGet package is the uh, what you say. Uh, it is kind of it, it combines all your workflows. You might have multiple XAML files in, in a single project. So it is going to combine everything and then put it together at one single file. Okay. Now this file once you have it in this file format it becomes quite easy. Let's say I'm developing a project for a client who is elsewhere. I do not have access to their orchestrator. They, they are managing on their own. I'm just developing something for them and I want to pass it. So it becomes quite easy. I've developed. I'm going to pass it to them through an email or any other uh, you know, way of file sharing. I will transfer this file to them and they will upload it. So this is the first part. How do you download a file locally and Create a dot NuGet package. So you understood the requirement why it will be useful. Now next thing, how will I upload it to orchestrator? That is the second part, right? So let's see that. So for this, so I have logged into my orchestrator. I'll hit on tenant and you need to hit on packages. And here you have the upload option, but a simple one, straightforward. And you will select that particular file. Okay. So once you select, hit on upload. Pretty simple one. Okay, so now the package has been uploaded. So this is the simple way of how do you download the entire studio workflow into a NuGet package locally and then upload it to orchestrator. Both the paths you have seen. So thank you guys for watching. This is a short video. We are going to beat once again in some of the inform informative videos coming on your way. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.